Hello and welcome back to Open Everyone. I'm Rina Valentin, your host of Café con Leche for the next hour. Always inviting you to get social with us. That's right. Tweet us on and follow us on Instagram at uh, BronxNet TV and or like us on Facebook at Open BronxNet Television. And of course, don't forget while you're there, follow moi on Twitter, FB, Instagram, Insta Stories, LinkedIn, e Snapchat at Rina Valentin. All right, so the Bronx Academy of Arts and Dance, also known as BAD, has supported and created space for women, people of color, and the LGBTQ community through the arts. And the organization holds space for people to express themselves creatively and freely from the prejudices of society. And BAD is filled with programs and upcoming events, including a women's festival I had the pleasure of participating in many moons ago. <laughs> well, here's a quick look at the AATT Academy. Hello, my name is Arthur Aviles. I am the artistic director of the AATT Academy. Arthur Aviles, Typical Theater. The AATT Academy is a community-based, accessible dance program for six to nine-year-olds. The Academy's diverse and professional faculty provides progressive, non-competitive, gender-neutral quality instruction in movement-based techniques from traditional dance to athletics. Hi, my name is Cynthia Paniagua, and I'm the Dance Education Coordinator for the AATT Academy. I'm super proud to be a part of this team, mainly because we're offering dance and high-quality dance education to our Bronx youth. We have bomba, Puerto Rican folklore. We have hip-hop. We have ballet and gymnastics and more. One of the things that I want to highlight is access and affordability. That's something that's not everywhere, especially in the boroughs. So the point is to reach out to the talented youth that we have here and that they have to offer us too because it's been a surprise knowing how much talent we're surrounded by but they didn't have the space to really explain that or express that. So come on over to the Bronx Academy of Arts and Dance, home of the AATT Academy. And joining us now to share more, we welcome BAD Artistic Director Arthur Vilas and Deputy Director Joseph Hall. Hello, gentlemen. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Thank you for having us. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Arthur, Arthur Aviles. Yeah. <laughs> Arthur Aviles Typical Theater now has evolved into AATT Academy. Yeah. Please do share. Oh. Yeah. The details behind this evolution. Yeah, so as, as you heard, it was really a wonderful children's program for six local six to nine-year-olds. They walk right around the block to our space at uh, 2474 Westchester Avenue um, on Mondays and Wednesdays these days. And sometimes we do intensives where they have five classes a day. It could go from yoga to capoeira to uh, salsa sometimes uh, to my contemporary dance form called Swift Flow. We have incredible teachers like Quick Step from Full Circle nice. um, and also Jason Rodriguez who is AKA Slim Ninja who is an incredible Vogue teacher. And it's the first classes given to six to nine year olds in Vogue. So their parents and the, the students have a good time with that. That's a lovely variety. Now, just share a little bit uh, about this evolution, really, because I'm very curious, because I know you as Arthur of Villa's Typical Theater, and, and now you're this uh, academy that teaches, wow, all these different styles yeah. of dance. Like, when did that happen? Um, actually, it happened um, more than 10 years ago at uh, PS 106 first. Uh, we did it in the public school system. Then um, we decided to bring it to our own space and have the children be at our space. So, And then now we're back into the school system and we will be teaching there right now from now till June um, at PS 36 which is near our area in Westchester um, Square area. How is that for you, teaching such young individuals? Well, I'm basically administering the program. I do a little bit of teaching sometimes, uh, but there is this um, one system that I have called osmosis teaching, which is what I do is I 
do the practice in front of the kids and what they do is they gravitate towards it and if they want to do it they are welcome to do it if they want to gravitate away they do so it's a kind of ebb and flow of teaching that I do personally but the program really has incredible professional teachers um, involved in it almost like 10 teachers that are involved throughout the program throughout the year so we have something in in the spring right now so registration is still open so if anybody wants to do that please give us a call we have scholarships available all the time. 13 girls and 13 boys. We make a concerted effort to make sure that boys and girls are included in the same program. And that's uh, spring, and there's a lot in the summer. Lovely. Wow, it's beautiful to see how much Bath has grown. 20 years in the making, yeah. and now we have this new deputy director. I don't know, Joseph? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, Joseph, our, Joseph, here oh, I am. Oh, hello, Joseph Hall, <laughs> and welcome. I Thank mean, you. you're new to me, but you've probably been with Bath how long now? Uh, three and a half years. There you go. Yeah, and so yeah. here we are in the beginning of the new year. What does this year's lineup look like? A lot. You know, it's our 20th anniversary. We turned 20 December 11th. Yeah. Uh, so we were founded in 1998. Yeah. Um, so Exciting. we're very uh, happy about that. Uh, and of course, we still have, um, you know, the festivals that we've had for, for, for many years um, that are our staples. Uh, so coming up is Get Tough, Get Bad. Um, yeah. And on Saturday the 23rd, one of the highlights... Um, is a documentary by Felix Rodriguez, who is a Bronx-based filmmaker. Um, one of the things that's special about it is that he features Hector Extravaganza, um, who sadly just passed in December, right. um, but is an artist that had been featured at BAD many times before. Yeah. <clears throat> That's lovely. Yeah. And so there's um, the Get Tough, Get Bad, then there's Badass Women, right? That's right. And then there's um, Black Tino. That's right. And Black I, Teenex. I now it's called the Black Teenex. 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 <laughs> Black Teenex. Black Teenex. Yeah. Performance series. Everybody, it's inclusive. That's one of the right. things I love about that. Yeah. Bad. Well, thank it's you. All inclusive. Well, thank you. Well, one one thing that we're really proud of is the Badass Women Festival, and that was with us since uh, the year two thousand one, and we have some great highlights that I think. Uh, yeah, Marga Gomez, um, who just came off from sh showing uh, this particular show at the Public Theater called Latin Standards, inspired by her father Willie Chavalier, who was like a really a staple in the golden an era of in New York of Latin variety shows so it's inspired by by him and his own artistry but also hers as his lesbian daughter from San Francisco who is you know dealing with gentrification and other issues there uh, so she's coming back to New York where she grew up in Washington Heights um, to show this at bad in the Bronx yeah uh, which she she's is very excited about and, and she's hilarious she's uh, incredible. Hilarious. This is um, March. Um, what's the uh, date? This is for March that? one and two. March first yeah. and second. Yeah. And of course, they can go always go to baad.org to get Definitely. the entire calendar, yeah. right? Because and it's a whole month uh, festival. Yeah. Whole month. So, is there anything special that's going to happen uh, <laughs> for your twentieth anniversary? So many different things. You know, basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to reach back into the archive of BAD, uh, being that BAD is amazingly 20 years old now. Yeah, and Congratulations, I... Congratulations, Thank you. Arthur. Yeah, well, I want to bring things back, like... Um, things that worked back then, see if they still speak today. Um, but, you know, bad progresses and make sure that it's um, developing. But uh, but we're really, really proud of its past. And, and all of that, um, Arthur is really showing his work, work that he's created in the past. So in June, mm -hmm. we're going to have a special performance of Arthur's, um, of Arthur's, uh, you know, past performances that he's reviving. We're also going to have a performance with Matcha, uh, who I'm sure you know. Yeah. Uh, so she's creating, <laughs> yes, she's creating new work uh, with Arthur, and that will be shown in June as well. And then our big celebration is happening in October, yeah. in the fall. And as you know, Matcha is a, an incredible um, audience getter. Um, <laughs> she was uh, born and raised in the Bronx. She's my cousin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and she's an incredible drag king. Um, but she also wanted to uh, make this show a, a personal one for her. And she wanted to speak to her audience personally. So we're going to be doing it from a different vantage point. So it's going to be interesting to see what we come up with. 
Oh, nice. Yeah. So you're getting uh, the authentic aspect of Maja. Yeah, yeah. That's She's not going to do all the costumes that she usually does. She's really going to be in something very simple, and she wants to speak directly to her audience. So. Oh, wow. This sounds so exciting. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So yeah. this is what we have to look forward for the year 2019. Yeah. Uh, Bad's birthday, 20 years in the making. Congratulations yeah. to you and Already. to Charles Rice Gonzalez. And, yeah, thank uh, you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet and you, you guys, well. if you're interested in learning, more. Once again, the AATT Academy starts February 18th until April 26th, and that's Mondays and Wednesdays from 2.30 to 5 p.m., and it will also include spring and winter breaks Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 2 p.m. Registration is now open, and of course, for more information on BAD and the AATT Academy, visit BAAD.org. Stay BAD. All right. We got to take a quick break, but when we return, we'll find out about Pope Park's Visitor Center exhibition in honor of Black History Month. Don't go anywhere.